Incredible pancakes lobbed at me Syrup and butter they are killing we The castle destroyed by yummy dessert Who'd have thought it could do that much hurt? Hey God, uh, my baby is dead. Could you uh, maybe bring it back to life for me? Well, of course I could, but I will not. Well, why not? I mean, I'm asking you and I'm really sincere. Hmm, I really liked that baby, so it's up here with me now. Oh, well, I mean, you do know best. Could, like, uh, you kill me so I could go up there with my baby? Hmm, not right now. Maybe some other time. Uh, could you at least tell me when? Like, how long will it be before I see my baby again? Oh, it's going to be a while. I need you down there serving me a little bit more. Uh, a few years. Uh, maybe ten or twenty. Unless I decide that your time is up. Oh, uh, okay, God. I mean, I guess I can wait. Thanks anyway. Wow, it's so great that God is existing and, like, we can see it every time and, and it will even talk to us. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's really great. I love God. God's the best. Oh, you too. Keep it up. I love that sort of thing. Wow, I just love God. He's so cool. Yeah, me too. I mean, he's just awesome. Look at, look at him. Look at him go. That God thing. Have you heard about this government conspiracy? Yeah, I have. I can't believe it. I mean, the government, they want to control us, so they've invented this God, and they put it up there and, like, use those loudspeakers. That's where all our tax money is going. You're a bit of juice. Hey, don't say that. That's anti-Semitic. Yeah, man, don't you know, like, they're not the ones that are at fault anyways? I mean, it's the government. They're poisoning us with the chemtrails and the vaccines and... That's why the Earth is is a square triangle, because, you know, they're trying to tell us that it's just flat. They just want us to believe that, because that's what God told them. <laughs> yeah, 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 the government's stupid, yeah. Uh, um, hello guys, I'm right here. You can clearly see me. I'm God. Yeah, right, that's what the government wants us to believe. You're not God, you're just a, a holographic projection. Yeah, man, you're, you're, you're fake. Yeah, 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 go back to, to where you belong, you Jew. Stop calling him a Jew, and it's not right. I, I, look, I'm a little bit racist, okay? I already know what is in your minds, and I know that the only thing that would convince you that I'm God is to literally change your brain. But... Because you have free will, I must ask you if you want me to do that. You hear him? He admitted it. He wants to change our brain. Yeah, the government wants to change our brain. I'm not sure they want to change our brain. I, I think we're going to kick that guy out of the group. I don't know. Put on your tinfoil hats. That will save us. Yeah, no, it's the copper hats. Whatever. Put them on, people. Anyways, look. Look, we don't want our minds changed. You can't change our minds. Yeah, nothing you can do can change our minds. Nothing you can do will change our minds. You notice that our voices are kind of the same. Shut up! Well, there's really nothing I can do then. Your free will overrides my all-powerfulness. And I will not change your mind. But do know that you'll be going to hell for this. Yeah, right. Hell's another government conspiracy. Yeah, it's all a conspiracy. By those Jews! Okay, you're out of the group. Aww. Um, excuse me, God. I couldn't help but overhear because you're, you know, loud enough for everyone to hear you at the same time in their own language. And, uh, I was just wondering, why are you sending those guys to hell? Why are you wearing that stupid thing on your eyes? Never mind, I already know why. Because they have chosen to reject me. Um, but you knew that they were going to do that because you knew that their mind was going to turn out that way because you knew how their brain was going to form before they even begin to exist. So why not, like, change their brain before that moment or something? Thou shall not test thy lord thy god. Um, I wasn't testing you. I was just asking you a question. I mean, why why do this to them? You're sending them to hell forever. What's the point of that? 
I am not sending them to hell. They send themselves to hell by not believing in me, even though it's clearly evident that I exist. But the reason that they can't believe in you is because the brains that they have that you allowed them to have and you didn't change, and you won't change because they said no, they didn't want them to be changed, and all of that's pretty much your fault, isn't it? My ways are not your ways. You cannot comprehend the awesomeness of me. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and make it so that my brain can comprehend the awesomeness of yours. I'm asking you, begging you, imploring you to do so. Make it so that my brain can understand your ways. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Then you would be too much like me. Like you? What? Well, how would that make me even remotely close to you? You have all the power that there could be. You know everything that there is. You know everything that I'm saying before I say it. In fact, why do you ask us to talk out loud to you in the first place? I mean, isn't that just kind of redundant? Once again, my ways are incomprehensible. To me, you are like the cats that you have. Can you make yourself understood to a cat? Uh, no, but you could, and thus you could make me understand you. But you won't for some reason. If I changed your brain so that you could comprehend me, you would no longer be you. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Go ahead and do it. Uh, it's not against my free will. I'm free willingly asking you to do that, and I'm fine with not being me anymore. I don't feel like it today. Try again tomorrow, or maybe some other time. So, meanwhile, those guys will just wind up in hell and they'll burn and torture forever until you might maybe change your mind at some point. No, once they're in hell, they're always in hell, and I'll never change my mind on it because they dare to not believe me. But they can't believe in you, and you know that. All you have to- oh, sure. What if I ask you to change their mind? No, never mind, you're just gonna say that that would negate their free will. But why is free will so important to you anyways? Why do you care that they don't believe in you? You know why they don't believe in you. Why? What's the point of hell anyways? In order for good to exist, there must be evil. In order for light to exist, there must be darkness. In order for up to exist, there must be down. In order for pancakes to exist, there must be waffles. Thus saith the Lord your God. Um, I'm not sure that any of that's true, or, well, I guess it is true, because you said it's true, but you could have made it some other way, right? I made it this way for reasons beyond your comprehension! Okay, fine. Can you at least tell me, okay, you didn't really tell me what the point of hell is, though. Could you at least give me that? Just give me that, okay? It's simple. Cosmic justice. You see the most pure form of ultimate justice is that I have judged them guilty for not believing in me, and thus they must pay for their sin indefinitely because they didn't accept my existence. That uh, seems really arbitrary and quite cruel. What if I did that to a different human? Like, what if they didn't want to be my friends so I decided to torture them forever, or at least until they died? Would you punish me for that? Doing that would be evil. However, because you believe in me, you will not be punished. Wait, wait, let me understand this. So cosmic justice is not about punishing what's good and bad. It's about punishing who believes in you and who doesn't. Yes, but without my existence, good and bad would not exist, and you would not know what's good or what's bad. That, again, might be true, and I guess because you said it, it is true, but then, like, 
what's the point of there being good and bad when the only real punishment is believing in you or not? Like, I could do all the bad things I want as long as I believe in you, so what's the point in doing the good things? By doing the good things, you show that you love me. Yeah, but you already know that I love you, and... It doesn't matter even if I didn't love you because that wasn't a requirement of going not to hell. By the way, what is the other place anyways? Some people say it's just hanging out with you. Some people call it heaven. What's that deal? I'm sorry, but you've run out of questions for the day. I must now be mysterious other places. Uh, but aren't you everywhere all at the same time? So don't you have infinite time to answer infinite questions and... You're, you're not gonna you're not gonna answer me okay that's fine all right so but how long until you answer my questions again no all right fine uh, I'll just uh, I'll come up with more questions for when it's my turn again and and I probably won't get any answers <sighs> whatever